My name is Matthew Blum. This is my brother, Mike Blum. We own Blum Brothers Distilling in Galena, Illinois. And this is Alchemix Drinks and Discourse. get out much um how long has been open for i guess we've been open for five and a half years almost yeah. almost six years six right years on. in december right yeah. on well they got some pretty awesome bourbon whiskeys uh you guys do vodka too right we do vodka um, we do gin um even do some weird stuff like absinthe and there we go working on some rum so mostly a whiskey distillery you right know. awesome and they do cocktails uh I'm enjoying one of their old fashions, and you guys are drinking a couple of Zazeracs, correct? Yep, these are Sazeracs with our new uh, rye whiskey that just came out about two weeks ago. Okay, nice. What, uh, what's new about it? Is this your first time doing your rye, or? It's our first time releasing kind of our flagship okay. rye. Um, we did release a rye about, uh, I don't know, two years ago yeah. with a younger age statement just to kind of get something out there and see the reception, and now... Yeah. Um, you know, we recently released our bourbon, which is four years old at a minimum, hundred proof. Yep. And now we just in turn released the rye, um, again, four years old at a minimum, hundred proof. Mm. Nice. Awesome. I know I've been out here sometime last year. We stopped out here one night, had some cocktails. I enjoyed it and I just wish we can get in Iowa, but you know, it's a short drive from Dubuque to here. Yeah, and it's just called bootlegging. That's yeah, true, too. Bootlegging. Buying and driving it back, right? <laughs> yeah, we might, we might have to talk about there. It's not outside the realm of possibilities yeah. to get it back in Iowa, but as a whole, we aren't distributing it in Iowa anymore. But right. uh, we might be able to get it to a few select locations. Wink, like wink. Seven Hills. Like Seven Hills Brewing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but awesome. Well, um, what made you guys want to start? For people that might not know who you guys are, why did you guys want to start a distillery for? I mean, you know, whiskey, really, whiskey, the love of whiskey. Yeah, we both got into scotch before we got into bourbon. Oddly enough, usually yeah. it's the opposite way around, but uh, we both had a extreme love for uh, bourbon and whiskey in general, and wanted to do something cool together. And uh, we both had very different careers, so we didn't have a lot of. Uh, commonality i guess sure. if in you know with our with our careers so this was something we definitely had in common that we thought we could pull off right so we're still pretending we're pulling it off right i mean five <laughs> and a half years is a long time to be pulling something off yeah, yeah. i mean either great magicians or just good at what you do mm -hmm. Maybe a little both Maybe what, some uh, both. what uh were you guys making bourbon at home i mean you just i mean it's not like craft beer right you just don't start making it at home yeah it's you? it's it, a lot of places that start, they do begin the process of doing that. It, it's illegal, so they don't like talking about it. We actually never did at okay. home, so we're probably you know, one of the few places that didn't. But right. um, uh, got some hands-on experience at like a Scotch whiskey distillery. We made friends in the industry, okay. got to learn from them. Um, we rented out a distillation facility up at Michigan State University, okay. and then you know hundreds of research papers books and then just kind of jumping in head first right so. yeah at least you had someone to help you with the learning curve a little bit right yeah yeah, yeah. and and that's something you kind of pay it for right you know? so when we have new distilleries opening up sometimes people will reach out and we're more than happy to help them with sure. things because we mm -hmm. had that and it's a nice thing about the learning curve we're still learning you know we're still learning we right. always will be i think and yeah. you know I mean, that's good that you're helping everyone too. Uh, it's like with breweries and just any craft, right? Like you help yeah. each other grow as a community, not like try to individualize Any yourself. Any craft is cool, right. you know? Any craft across the board. The more competition, we, the better. There are a lot, there are, you know, some distilleries, breweries alike that might um, not be as as helpful, but we just, this is a cool industry and uh, some cool people helped us along the way. So we'd like to kind of, you know, continue to do that, pay, right. it, pay it forward, I guess. Yep. And have you guys always been at this location then, or? Yep. Yeah. 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 You, so then are you guys originally from Galena then, or? No, we both uh, were born and raised in Illinois. Okay. Um, our high school years were actually in the Quad Cities, so okay. we were Iowa boys for a little while. Yeah. And um, 
we moved in this location. We thought Galena would be a great place to do this. And um, this is uh, the first location. We actually just bought a second location about three and a half miles down the road, which is going to be a new Rick house. Um, we've okay. got about 750, 800 barrels here on site right now, and we are <laughs> way over capacity. We don't have anywhere to put them. <laughs> so we um, have this new barrel warehouse that'll store about 2,200 barrels or so. And that's the only purpose is to store barrels. That's yeah, all, all that will yeah. go on there is right. storing barrels. I mean, different than like brewing beer is you guys have to like hold on to your barrels for mm -hmm. two, four, six, or what, how many ever years, right? Like, so yeah, yeah, and that's, that's the point we're at yeah. is, you know, moving forward, we will release no no whiskeys under four. Right. So the goal is to, you right. know, age them up, release them at older um, age statements. But, yeah, it's it's kind of a weird business model. Right. <laughs> I mean, we have some. I mean, we're planning on having some products that will be over 10 years old. Right. So we need a good place to store all that. Okay. And this will be nice. This new warehouse is uh, not climate controlled. It's going to be very hot in the summer, very cold in the winter, okay. which is what we want. Yep. Um, we've had that to a degree here, but... Um, Still, it's kind of tough to do with our barrel warehouse being in the same building and as it, this bar. And does that help the aging process going from those extreme temperatures mm -hmm. then? It does, and that's something we haven't had here. Mm -hmm. So we've had all the barrels in this room, and we capped off all the HVAC and all that, thinking we would get bigger swings, but um, just hasn't happened. Right. So. Mm -hmm. We're we're excited that the new place completely uninsulated. There you know, go. when it's hot, it's hot. When it's cold, it's cold. And your electric bill's gonna be not so high anymore. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> gonna be great. That's awesome. I know. I was talking with uh, people like about McAllen Fifty, right? It's like there's people who barrel this that probably won't even be alive right. when they bottle it and try it. You know, they're just. Right. Well, here you go. Well, and there's only going to be like three bottles worth yeah. in <laughs> right. the barrel at that Yeah, point. by the time it's 50, there's not going to be much left right. in there. Exactly. So. I mean, that's probably yeah. why it's so expensive then, right? Right. But awesome. So, I've heard some great things about your guys besides just, you know, your bourbons and your liquors and stuff that you guys do a lot with the community and uh, doing some fundraising for some nonprofits, uh, mm -hmm. some golfing events, I think, right, for MS? That you yeah, we, we do an annual... Um, uh, events that raises it's a golf event it's a two club tournament so it's a seven iron and a putter only oh wow and it's um a great event this will be our third year doing it okay um in september 2019 um raises money for ms multiple sclerosis and uh um that's one of the few things you know we do work with a lot of other a lot of local organizations in town we try and raise money for we do okay trivia night that raises money um you know, we donate quite a bit, donate our time on several boards, and it's it's a no-brainer. We live in this cool little town, 3,500 people. Mm -hmm. um, this is our home. This right. is where our kids are growing up. So why wouldn't we want to see this town thrive? So, For sure. you know, we uh, try to do as much as we can. Right. And, I mean, it doesn't seem like you guys are leaving anytime soon, right? Just by where you guys just bought the new facility, yeah. right? No, so, no, yeah, we're, no, we're here to stay. To this, is, this is where uh, Blum home. Brothers will stay. This That's is home. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the cherry event, isn't that what Tin Cup used when he broke all his uh, yep. sticks, right? That's, that's the inspiration behind it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> got down to the seven iron at the end. He right. said, seven iron. I can I, always rely on that. I did not know that. Oh, oh. <laughs> have you even seen the movie? Is that, I know Kevin Costner. Yeah, so yeah, obviously yeah. you're not a golfer. Right. I don't even have well to love that movie. It's right. like right. Happy Gilmore and Tin Cup for best golf movies that yeah. I'm aware yeah. of. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's hilarious. So yeah, that's kind of the in inspiration behind it. Okay. Um, but uh, it's a fun event. So it's, you know, it's not a, you know, a hoity-toity event. It's, it's, you know, usually we have a bunch of beer and a bunch of spirits. And, uh, a lot of drinking. But <laughs> then there's a, uh, like a silent auction at the end. And yeah. Okay. So we donate every, every single penny. I mean, we don't, you know, we ended up, you know, we end up coming out cash negative on it because we don't. You know that's not the point of it is to make money we're, right. we're trying to make money to write a check and sure. uh every uh, every year we've been able to and that's uh it's pretty cool okay awesome you said when when's that in september <clears throat> september 21st all right guys well thanks for having me out here it was great yeah. seeing you uh, it was great visiting your facility again uh if you don't know where blum brothers is it's off uh, highway 20 in galena just drive out city about what a mile not even a mile right like yeah i mean we're we're in the city limits here okay. we're, we're, we're the just last thing in the city limits. okay there yeah. you go yep. awesome uh we'll have a description or not a description we'll have 
an event link to the Facebook charity event that they're going to be doing here soon. Where else can they find you guys at? Social media, website? Yeah, yeah everything's typically uh, at Blum Bros. Okay. Um, on Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook all Twitter, all, all that cool. stuff. Snapchat. Snapchat. I think we have a Snapchat. Snapchat? I think we do. <laughs> I yeah. We do. I, think I don't we think do. we run it. <laughs> we're, we're getting too old for Snapchat. Yeah, I'm too old for that. I, I, don't, I don't personally get it, but... It's the younger generation, right? That's yeah. what you gotta get, right? That's but, right. Awesome, guys. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.